Climate change is among humanity's greatest challenges for which the food system is both a victim and a contributor in Africa, just like elsewhere on planet Earth. To curb some of the challenges faced in African food systems, especially by women farmers, Canada's International Development Research Centre, IDRC, with its core funding partners Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, BMGF, Global Affairs Canada, the Rockefeller Foundation and the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research is supporting innovations that foster resilience in the food systems, including agricultural value chains that are both inclusive and gender responsive and supported by appropriate policy frameworks for crop and livestock production. It is a fact that African women make up a majority of smallholder livestock farmers and bear the primary responsibility of caring for diseased animals but with dwindling incomes. In Ghana, research identified multiple barriers that impede women from fully benefiting from better livestock production such as unsuitable vaccines, lack of extension services, as well as women's limited decision-making in their households and communities. They needed help. To counter the barriers, IDRC, with co-funding from BMGF, and Global Affairs Canada have offered training in livestock production to women smallholder farmers across Africa, resulting in improved livestock productivity, better livelihoods and increased opportunities for women through the Livestock Vaccine Innovation Platform. The platform has transformed the vaccine delivery system and identified approaches that benefit women and increase women's access to formal paid work such as community-based animal health workers, veterinarians and livestock advisors. With each stride taken along the livestock value chain proving to have long-term benefits, even more so, each stride guaranteeing farmers that there is hope beyond their field crops is reassuring. One such stride is through a picture-based crop insurance PBI, that relies on imagery or photos taken by farmers using smartphones to show crop damage caused by extreme weather conditions. Agronomists review the images of the crop after which they suggest appropriate payouts to affected farmers. Policy payouts allow farmers to reinvest in their farms after crop losses by enabling them to access seeds and pay for necessary labor. PBI also helps farmers to access extension advisories from the PBI mobile app Seed Grow. There is a broad consensus that innovations are key in meeting the challenges that confront the African smallholder farmers for healthier foods and quality animal feed. Insects for livestock feed, Insfeed, is one such innovation answering the need for quality animal feed. How? Well, insects such as the black soldier fly that are rich in protein are widely considered alternative proteins for animal feeds. Insfeed aims at scaling up demand for insect-based animal feed by working with the private sector, youth and small-scale farmers to scale up production and commercialize insect-based products. As a result, three policies have been developed in Kenya and one in Uganda on code of practice in dealing with edible insects and products containing edible insects. Individual farmers, multinational companies and processing industry players interested in insects for livestock feed can now request and get accreditation to enable their products to be sold worldwide. Indeed, innovation like this one in food systems and agriculture is opening Africa to share something with the world. The food system is not limited to the supply side. Taking a food systems approach requires a look at the entire ecosystem of food from the farm to the consumer's table. Like in any developing world, African countries too are undergoing a nutrition transition, basically shifting from traditional diets to the consumption of more processed and healthy foods. Efforts to address these challenges in a holistic manner are on. The Food System Transformative Integrated Policy Initiative, FSTIP, 
is one such example of how IDRC, in collaboration with partners, is supporting governments to embark on the food system transformation journey. FSTEP has involved a consortium of food systems partners and contributed substantially to country dialogues and political commitments as made at the United Nations UN Food Systems Summit of 2021. FSTIP is catalyzing change for healthy and sustainable food systems. Innovation systems in food and agriculture explore the relationships between productivity and environmental sustainability. No wonder African Group of Negotiators Experts Support, also referred to simply as AGNES, created in 2015, has been spearheading discussions on behalf of the African continent on food productivity and environmental sustainability. They provide scientific expertise and evidence-based information to African climate negotiators and seek to facilitate the exchange of ideas between experts and negotiators in international settings such as the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, submitting several topics such as the development of early warning systems and contingency plans about extreme weather events as well as risk and vulnerability assessments of agricultural systems to various climate change scenarios, including but not limited to the menace of pests and diseases responsible for dwindling fortunes in food production and food security affecting smallholder farmers. In Mozambique, smallholder farmers contribute 95% of agricultural production. The government, being aware of the threat brought about by climate change to food production, is working with development partners and together they have invested heavily in energizing and expanding smallholder irrigation schemes, the aim being to reduce poverty. The farmer-led smallholder irrigation in Mozambique, FASIMO project, has introduced smallholder farmers to chameleon soil water sensors and wetting front detectors. The detectors measure soil water content and can be used to collect samples for nutrient and salinity tests, while the chameleon sensor measures soil moisture levels and displays a color code to the user depending on how dry the soil is. With this, the good news is that smallholder farmers are able to reduce by half the amount of water used on irrigation, cut back fuel and labor costs by almost 40%, increase their productivity, save time, send children to school, expand the irrigation land and participate in community affairs. To realize greater impacts and move innovations even farther, partnerships are becoming important and as such, IDRC's efforts and impact are made stronger by building relations with like-minded partners such as Global Affairs Canada, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation and the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research. These partnerships signal a greater impact for generations of farmers and communities to come.